Hi everybody, thanks for joining me at comingouttarot.com. This is uh, an installment on the professional series and it's a, answering the question, how can you understand the motivations of your boss? We'll talk a little bit about uh, the motivations from your perspective and how you can utilize that. We'll talk about the uh, motivations from their perspective in alignment with your relationship and how you can be the most effective in that relationship. And then we've got a little bonus on there for if you are an LGBTQ person or an ally of the LGBT community and how you can look for a safe space uh, as an employee of the organization. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you. Hey everybody, thanks for watching again. I wanted to talk about uh, how Tara can help you in your professional life if you're feeling like uh, your boss isn't motivating you and you'd like your boss to be motivating you or how your boss can be motivating you and how you can approach that from your perspective because we can never know 100% what somebody else is thinking. As much as Tara can provide us an insight into a relationship, we're never going to know 100%. But we can always, between the tarot reader and you, or like me and you, talk about what your approach is, what your experience is, and how you can tackle something like, uh, I'd like my boss to motivate me in a different way. So I, I get it because I've been the employee who's had a boss that was uh, amazing, started off with a bang, felt like I was totally motivated by them, they were inspiring. Um, I, I felt supported, I felt lifted, I felt challenged in what I was doing. And that's when you know the motivation is working and it's real, right? I've also been the employee where my boss started that way and then the enthusiasm just waned. Like they, they seemed to come in with a bang and then they just kind of did their own thing and suddenly we were on our own. So I get it. I've been the employee who had a boss who could give a rat's ass. Totally get it. Two different types of uh, bosses. One is the one you want to keep. One is the one where you're like, okay, I'm on my own. So I think it, we have an opportunity with Tarot to explore what it means to have a great boss if we're lucky and what those um, uh, skills, uh, criteria of those great boss are uh, and what the mediocre to shitty bosses are. I think we can help figure those out. So. Uh, one of the things that helped me was using tarot to find my own motivation. I don't think it's really easy. Uh, I think it's something that you have to really work at. But tarot can help you get there, especially if you're not sure where to go. So today, I'm really lucky. I have um, <laughs> multiple... I, we always have a dotted line boss besides a real boss, right? So I have um, multiple bosses. They're inspiring. They keep me going. Uh, I am... I am, though, in a place where I need a little extra push, a little extra oomph to get through the day because I've been there for a while. So I think that's only going to come from inside me. And tarot helps get there. Uh, it'll help me identify, through an objective third party, uh, a holistic view of my situation. It's going to allow me to make decisions about how I can motivate myself and bring my boss along for the ride. So first, I want to talk about how we can uh, ensure that your boss is providing you with some adequate motivation. Uh, I think there's uh, basically a formula of 75% you, 25% them. I think you have to invest the most and they'll come along with you. It all comes down to relationships, how we interact with each other on a personal level. And when I think about tarot and how it can help you with your boss, it's, it's no different than working through another t relationship reading with tarot, we're just looking at it through a professional lens rather than that romantic lens if we're talking about a romantic relationship. So, uh, oh, I've got a pyramid on me. Uh, it's over here. Uh, the sun's coming through some glass and putting a little rainbow on me. I should wear it over here like a badge. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, let, let's talk about first your motivation and the perspective of your motivation. So if you use tarot to examine your relationship with your boss, from your perspective, it's the most helpful. If you, and some tarot readers will do this, if you explore the relationship from the vantage point of your boss, uh, you'll, you'll get information about your boss, but not about what you can do. And for me, tarot is about what you can do, and that's how I like to read. I'm, I feel like it's psychic spying 
on the other person if you just come at it from their perspective. So I like to come at it from your perspective and give you the tools to empower you to move forward with uh, what you would like to accomplish rather than here's what somebody else is doing and how it's affecting you because you're already in that space. So let's try and find you what you need to move you forward. So you might ask things like, uh, how should you approach your relationship with your boss in order to have a more successful partnership? Um, you might ask, what steps do you need to take in order to show growth in skills needed for the promotion that you want uh, or feel that you need? Uh, how can you be more visible in a positive way uh, to your boss and the C-suite of the organization? So you can ask questions like that of a tarot reader like me, and then we can walk through some very specific uh, steps that'll get you to that space. So there's there's a lot of opportunity, I think, to move forward uh, ethically on how you can be the most productive in, in uh, ensuring that you have the motivation you need. I also think that you could use tarot to examine recent events. So if there are events that have occurred that led up to a certain time in your career and your profession, um, you can examine those events to see how they've played into your current circumstances. I think the, that review of what's happened allows you to see what actions you've taken and how you might alter them in the future. Uh, you can also uh, use these approaches as an actionable solution for underlying motivation of understanding your boss. Because So we never want to know why someone does something unless it moves us forward or holds us back, right? Uh, have, have you noticed that you don't remember or care what anyone does or why they do it unless it moves you forward or holds you back? So the question then becomes, how do we work with another person's motivation when we don't know what it is? So in order to understand the motivation behind the relationship the, with the two of you are sharing, I think you need to... I think you need to understand how the relationship works. So you can do a tarot reading that uh, can bring in their motivations and your motivations and compare them and see how you're working together. It's an opportunity to see if you are in a place of conflict or constructive conflict or if you're almost on a path to working clearly, clearly with each other. You just may need a few tweaks. Uh, it's also a way to see if your personalities interact and how they interact, because sometimes we're like oil and water, right? Uh, what that approach does is allows me as a reader to come at the relationship from your perspective and inform your perspective with your boss's motivations so that it, the reading is really about you and how you can affect the relationship rather than here's where this person is coming from, and good luck with that, right? I think that's a waste of everyone's time. I think if we look at it from your perspective, their perspective, and see how those two things meet and how they connect and how they interact and intersect, then we're finding a way that you can manage that relationship in order to find your success. So once there's a more solid understanding of how you work together, then you can start to navigate how you can work together in the future, especially if you're trying to achieve a goal like a promotion, a lateral move, or, or getting into another department, or simply establishing a relationship to further your career in the future. So there's a lot of opportunity once you understand the relationship. Now, for those of you who identify as LGBT or are an ally and are looking to see how you might be able to help your LGBT colleagues at work, I think that there is um, more scrutiny or it might feel like there is more scrutiny on you than uh, your straight or cis colleagues. Uh, and I would venture to say you're right because it, the a representative of any minority group tends to be, uh, for those who are not in the group, the representative for that group, right? So if you're the gay guy in the office, you represent all gay men that they've ever known, and when you speak, you represent all gay men that they've ever... Even though that shouldn't be the case, it's the way that our brains work, right? So uh, I think your responsibility is greater than just yourself if you're an LGBT person in an office and you're thinking about how to move forward. Uh, and 
not everybody has to worry about this. You can worry about yourself and move on. For me, I like to think about it because I, I like to think about a community as a whole and how I'm representing it. So I think you can also use tarot to address these concerns. You just uh, alter the questions that you want to ask a little bit. For example, uh, you could explore what the outcome could be if you came out uh, at work to your boss, if you came out at work to your entire department, if you came out at work and everybody found out. You could ask what the steps should be to take, um, that you should take in order to feel safe coming out, or would it even be safe to come out, or would it be career suicide to come out in your office? Uh, in all, I think you're working through understanding the relationships in general. So whether you're understanding the motivation of your boss or whether you're an LGBT person who wants to better understand uh, the culture and the motivation if you come out as an LGBT person in your office, then I think you're uh, taking some affirmative action about what's going to be the best approach for you. And for those of you that are allies, uh, you can also ask questions about what uh, can I do to be the most effective in making a safe space for my LGBT colleagues? Uh, what steps can I take? Or, uh, you know, th things that would allow you to understand from an objective person how you can make uh, a safer space for all of the LGBT folks in the office. If you're a manager, if you're not a manager, you can come at it from multiple angles. So, I hope that's helpful. And, uh, helping to understand how you can further uh, the understanding of your boss's motivations and how you can interact with them in order to make yourself uh, successful from your perspective. So you're not putting you're not putting the onus on someone else of your success, you're taking charge of your own. And I think that's the most important thing about tarot and how you can move yourself forward. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.